Hey guys, Sanjum here. Uh, time to do some comic book reviews this week. Uh, it's going to be a pretty different week for, for reviews this week. Uh, i got a lot of variety of different comic books this week, and not just this usual stuff. So let's go ahead and get, start, get started. Oh, excuse me. Okay, first up, uh, our honorable mention this week is uh, Solomon Grundy, number one. And it's done, the, all, the whole story and art is done by Scott Collins. Um, I, I kind of like Solomon Grundy as, as a character. He's sort of reminds me of, of, of Hulk a little bit or DC's version of Hulk um, and this one kind of doesn't, doesn't disappoint it really does draw a lot of similarities to Hulk um, it's alright it was it was, it was a pretty um, I mean if you're a Solomon Gunnery fan I mean I'm sure you'll like it but uh, it's, it's okay I mean it's going back to how um, Solomon Gunnery, uh, Grundy came to be and stuff like that and so I guess sort of his origin story and he has a chance to redeem himself and, and get a chance to not uh, uh, be Solomon Grundy anymore, but he gets tied up with other other people like uh, the original Green Lantern and uh, Etrigan. Uh, so, um, so yeah, it, it's all right. I mean, not bad. Uh, Solomon Grundy number one. It's okay. It was pretty decent. Okay, next up honorable mention is um, Secret Warriors number two, Dark Rain tie-in. All right, th this one was pretty good. Um, Baron Braun Strucker is back, and Hydra is totally in control. Um, they're plotting the seas to get back at Nick Fury. It looks like um, Nick Fury is trying to do a counter strike with 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 uh, Hydra, gathering his team together, trying to see what they can do. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna find out uh, how Nick Fury handles this because uh, out of the, the whole time he was at, at Shield, uh, looks like he wasn't in control as much as he thought he was. Um, Pretty good story. The art was good. I liked. I liked the art on it. Uh, kind of reminds me of the, of the old Initiative, uh, uh, Avengers: The Initiative, uh, uh, art look the way it was back back then, or still, actually still is going on right now. And this is done by Jonathan Hickman and Stefano Caselli. Uh, yeah, Stefano Stefano Caselli. Yeah. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. I didn't pick up number one, but number two was pretty good. So um, yeah, and it says Bendis right here, but. Uh, I guess Bendis may be kind of oversaw it there. I guess you could say. All right. Uh, time for some awards this week. And the first award goes to Cover of the Week, and it goes to Deadpool number eight. This is also a Dark Rain tie-in. And this, uh, I like the cover because, you know, it pretty much, um, I, guess I, I guess I like the color scheme, the background. It just kind of makes it look kind of shadowy and kind of, uh, kind of cool looking. Um, Deadpool is after Norman Osborn, uh, but along the way he kind of gets, in, uh, you know, involved in some other traps that Norman Osborn had planted on, in, um, Avengers Tower. Now, um, it's funny that, it's funny his imagination goes, there's some funny moments in here, always good stuff with Deadpool, and next issue is going to be, uh, with the Deadpool versus Thunderbolts, it's going to be in the Thunderbolts book. So I'm going to pick up Magnum Ops uh, Part 2 of 4, and this was, that's what the title of this uh, story arc is, Magnum Ops. And uh, it's going to be in, on the Thunderbolts book. And this is done by Daniel Way and Paco uh, Medina. And uh, they're providing some great story with uh, great, great good times, great, very funny stuff with Deadpool. So, good stuff. Alright, Beatdown of the Week goes to Ultimate Wolverine vs. Hulk. Now it's pretty much a, a retelling of what happened, what's been happening, the past uh, couple issues. Um, I don't, I don't have issue one or two. Hopefully, I can pick those up sometime soon. But um, this is done by Damon Lindoff and Lino Francis Yu. So, um, but yeah, but the beatdown that Hulk gives Wolverine is pretty much. Um, it, it's, it, Read it, and you'll find out it's pretty much self-explanatory how bad he beats him down. Um, and if you have any idea uh, about this this film, you know what happens to, to Wolverine in this one. Um, and if you don't, there's pictures, plenty of pictures online that show it, that show it over and over and over again. And this, and it does show it in here over and over and over again. A um, little bit, a little bit of a, a mystery uh, of what's got, what happened in the last page. Um, a an ultimate version of a relative of the Hulk shows up. 
pretty much spoiled it, but yeah. Um, but we don't know who it is, though. We don't, we, we don't know who it is. Um, so, we'll find out who it is in the next issue. And hopefully that'll come out really soon. But, Book of the Week is War of Kings number one of six. Um, this was done by uh, Dan Abnett and Annie Lang. They both did the writing. And uh, Paul Peldner. I hope I saw that right. And he did the, the artistry. Um, this is a good book. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a little bit of a limb. I'm going to go on a limb here and say this this um, story arc, this storyline, this miniseries here, this might give uh, Dark Reign a run for his money. This is really, really, really good. Um, we're, we're, this is pretty much the aftermath of Secret Invasion. The, um, there's, there's now a wedding uh, for uh, running the, the Accuser and uh, Crystal of the Inhumans. Uh, so that way, you know, they can both uh, join forces and, you know, that way uh, Black Bolt can be now be king of the Kree. Well, Lalandra shows up uh, before they get married. And um, Emperor Vulcan, who is now the Emperor of the Shi'ar Empire, decides she wants her back. And uh, taken prisoner, I guess prisoner of war, you could say. And, um, yeah, things get pretty bloody and pretty messy. Uh, the Imperial Guard proves why they're one of the best in the Marvel Universe, and why Gladiator is proven to be the head of the Shi'ar, Empire, uh, the Shi'ar Imperial Guard, and why he deserves to be there, and he does prove it. Um... But the Inhumans don't take it lightly, and we uh, can't wait for number two. It's gonna be, this one. This one is gonna be is gonna give Dark Rain a run for its money because it's gonna it might be even the sleeper sleeper hit of, of the uh, um, of the summer. So I think it might be uh, be a pretty good pretty good book. It is gonna be a great book. I I know it is. All right. Now I also picked up picked up a trade this uh, this week. And uh, it's, I've been wanting this trade for a while, so I decided to finally, finally pick it up. And it's the second part of the uh, Green Lantern Sinestro Corps War. Um, I'm going to read up, read, up this, read this up right now um, after I uh, upload this video, or, or while I upload this video. Um, so hopefully, uh, there's a storm coming in. I'm hoping, and it's supposed to be an electrical storm, so I'm hoping things, the power didn't turn off and stuff like that while I'm uploading. But if it does, then I'm pop my apologies for having it up so late. So that's what happened. So, this is it. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Any hateful, spiteful comments toward me or toward us will be deleted. Since time, I'm signing off. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye.